Welcome back, family, friends. And I got my last subscription box for 2016. Happy New Year, by the way, everybody. Hope you all have a great 2017. But this is my last box for 2016, and this is Fright Crate. December's Fright Crate. The new kid on the block when it comes to horror subscription services. It started back in October 2016. This is their third month, and I've been really impressed over the last few months. Just great stuff, fun stuff, unique stuff, stuff you don't see anywhere else. And if you're interested in the Fright Crate, check the description right down here. Yep, right down there <laughs> in the video description, and I'll put the link, and you can order you a Fright Crate for January. This month, I believe orders are still open until the 20th or so. But here we go, December's 2016 Fright Crate, and I got the little flyer for November talking about December. This is uh, supposed to have a NECA figure. I love me some NECA items. I got it all around on the wall over here and all over. <laughs> uh, a custom item to die for, which sounds really interesting. An exclusive lapel pin and some custom artwork from fellow YouTuber Lita Fairy. I'm interested in see what that is. So, and we got some characters here. We got the Leprechaun, Michael Myers, Candy, Candy Man, and you got the Blair Witch. So let's see what we got. Got the old flying monster knife here. Check it out. That was that was lame. Let's do it again. Can't 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 pop my knife out like that. That's silly. Fly monster knife. There we go. <laughs> Here's the box, and he's got some custom little sands on each side. Some quotes from some famous uh, directors, horror directors. However vast the darkness, we must supply our own light. Good old crazy Stanley Kubrick there. And right here, who we got? Monsters are real and ghosts are real too. They live inside us and sometimes they win. From Stephen King. Real monsters are us people. <laughs> Let's get the spots open here. I believe he's had a like a little announcement stating there was don't reach it be careful when you're reaching in your boxes this month could be sharp objects inside so what does that mean all right we got it open here I'm gonna be brave though I'm gonna reach in and whatever happens is gonna happen everybody <laughs> Alrighty here. I got a Gremlin. A NECA Gremlin Series 4. Gremlins NECA figure. I got Brownie. He looks pretty amazing. And on the back we have the other ones you can get. I actually have some of these, but I believe they're Series 5. I think I've got uh, Zoe and... I'm back. <laughs> I got Zoe and Patches over there, right out of camera. Other side of the room. This is Brownie, and he'll make a good addition because I love me some Gremlins. When November comes around every year, I start thinking about Gremlins, and I will always love me some Gremlins. Mongwai! I like his little ears, and they got a little knob on the back of their head where you can roll their little eyes back and forth in their head. It's pretty cool. Coming soon, Spider Gremlin. Oh yeah, I would love to have one of those. Look at that. Look at that thing. Great item, great item, great item. NECA, I love it. Almost peeked in there.
Okay, I got a VHS tape of the X-Files, the first film, the best one of the films they made. This is uh, sealed, brand new, which is cool. I still have a VHS player over there in the closet. And I got a ton of VHS tapes right here down in the box I was actually going through. I was trying to find my Ghostbusters VHS tape so I could put it on display. But I got X-Files. Like I said, this was the good, the good one of the two X-Files films I believe they made. So that is cool and it's brand new sealed. I like VHS. Every now and then, dig out that old VHS player and make me some v watch me some good old VHS. Because some movies, strangely enough, are still not on DVD or Blu-ray. And VHS is always going to have a fondness in my heart there. Oh, wow, look at this, this is a uh, artist, Lita Ferry, fellow YouTuber, I'll put her link in the description below, go check out her channel, she does great stuff, she had a custom item in the box this month, so that is great that Frank Ray reached out and got a fellow YouTuber to do some art, this uh, exclusive wood art plaque. I got number 50 of 100, and it's got a little autograph there. But on the front, look at that. Good old Candyman. Candyman, it's all red, it's like holiday themed. So this would be cool to put out around the holidays. And it says, sweets to the sweet. The quote he's, that Candyman says in the film, sweets to the sweet. And all the bees come out. Uh, great, great Clive Barker film. One of the few Clive Barker films that really creep me out. <laughs> and look at this. He's got a candy cane hook claw on his arm. And he's got like a Santa outfit on. So that is, that's fun. That's a fun one. Got a little hook right here on the back. I mean, hanger. You can hang it up. I got a peek at something, so I'm going to go ahead and get it. This is the pen. This is a gold digger. That is awesome. Bright Crate exclusive. Gold digger pen. There you go. It's like a leprechaun. Get it in close. That is pretty awesome. I got a number of pens, and this one would be cool to put with the collection. It's a different little take on the leprechaun, but you get the idea, and that is awesome. Right, Crate Exclusive? Nice. It's like hard enamel, so it's like covered over on the top there. It's a fun little card backer, too, they got with the, all the little clovers on it. Where's me gold? Right, reaching in here. Oh, whoa. Put that on the floor for now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's a knife, an actual knife of Michael Myers, good old Michael Myers from Halloween. Anything? Take it off here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. That is great. But look at this. Look at this side. Look at that. My lights are new, everybody, so it's not quite as harsh light as it used to be. Let me know if everybody thinks this lighting is working out. But look at that. You got double sided. You got the classic William Shatner like mask there. That little piece of the cardboard stuck to it. I'll get all that off later. But that is cool. Actual like kitchen knife. Michael Myers 
Weapon of choice. <laughs> I really like the artwork on it. Look at this. That's awesome. Really like it. It's a real knife, everybody. That's the dangerous item in the box, I guess. I gotta find a way to display that because I would love to put it. I got my Michael Myers right there. Some way to put it on the wall up there with them. That would be great. So, on to the rest of the items. I got a, it's like a little card here. Trading card magnet. Blair Witch Project. That Blair Witch item. Not sure what's going on in that picture. It's some of that. Some crazy from the movie. I can't really describe it to you there, but I love me a magnet. Can't you tell? <laughs> All right. And I think we got some prints here at the bottom. Dude, look at this. Very colorful. Look at that. That is great. Look at that. Old Jennifer Aniston there. And her heyday right before she... I'll be friends with... Yep. That was before the show, wasn't it? Uh, there you go. I mean, strangely enough, years ago... I watched it, didn't pay no attention that it was Jennifer Aniston in it. And then probably last year, we got, I watched the first Leprechaun again with the kids because they can watch the first one. That was a little little easier for the kids. And I was like, that's Jennifer Aniston. So here we go, that's Jennifer Aniston there. You can see the silhouette of the Leprechaun. I'm the Leprechaun. I'm the Leprechaun. Don't you love that part of Wayne's World? Leprechaun! No! Not the Leprechaun! That is awesome. It's like pop art, splatter art. I love like really graffiti vibe to it. Got great colors on it, but my new lights are... I'm still adjusting them, getting used to them. So that is, that is great. That's nice. I'm probably will hang that up because you don't get a lot of leprechaun stuff out leprechaun stuff out there in the world Let's see if I can get in here trying to get the flyer out of there wrestling it maybe I should use the knife on the bots yeah here's next month's January's Fright Crate theme preview it's like we got Puppet Master Lost Boys, one of the greatest vampire movies ever. Looks like we got Hostel right here for torture and trick or treat. Good old Sam. So it looks like a good month shaping up there for Fright Crate in January. So go get your order your bots. I believe you can order it up until the 20th of January. And we got a flyer on the back here. The I guess, what do you call that? The item breakdown, spoiler list, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, yeah, here we go. The exclusive Knife Party Volume 1 Michael. This display knife is 7.7 seven and a half inches long. Our personal favorite item from any of our boxes. Art on both sides. A side. Flip it over to play the B side. There you go. Get it real quick again, close for you. I really like that. Black and white, blue Michael on the front with the mask, black and white style on the back. We love taking risks and I hope you take, hope that you enjoy this killer item. Yeah. Suggested uses, display, unboxings, Stabbings, <laughs> you know, why not just random stabbings? Do not use with food, place in dishwasher or wash in the sink. 
gently use wipes. That is great. I gotta find a great way to display that. We got our NECA Gremlins Mogwais Series 4. And we got Brownie. The series includes Brownie, Doodah, and Penny. Each Mogwai has articulated ears, neck, shoulders, forearms, waist, and thighs, and also features a signature posable rolling eyeball mechanism. One figure per box. But he had a contest this month. If you were a subscriber and you pulled your name, you got an extra NECA figure. So good luck to those who won. I believe Johnny Tez won one, so that was cool. I really love these. I would like to collect more of them, but every now and then when I find one out in the wild, I'll buy it. But I didn't have brownie, so that's cool. All right. The Lita Fairy Art Candy Claws Wood Art by guest artist Lita Fairy, featuring art from the very talented Miss Lita Fairy. is signed and numbered. This item is the Bee's Knees. I see what you did there, Bright Great Bee's Knees. Yeah. Please check out her channel on YouTube. I will put her link in the description below. That is great. Look at that. Candyman. 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 Exhorted VHS, VHS sorted titles. Chance to get a rare item. Okay. Enjoy one of today's hottest collectibles. This nostalgia filled item is perfect for existing collectors and one that that are starting and collectors that are starting out. Can't read, sorry. Three options. One new rare VHS. I got a new one, so that's cool. I'm definitely not gonna open it. Because if I don't watch X Files, I will probably go watch it on DVD. I got the DVD. You can get a new rare one, two used ones, or one used one. So lucky folks some few lucky folks got a brand new one. Couple of lucky folks got two rare used VHS tapes. And some folks got one used VHS tape. Leprechaun! Exclusive Gold Digger enamel pin featuring one of the most mischievous villains in horror. A cartoony, more exaggerated take on the character. Do not keep any... Do not keep near any of your jewelry boxes. Because he'll steal your gold. Give me me gold, me gold. Alrighty, other items in the bots. The Lepair Leprechaun print. Uh, modern WPAP style print. Vibrant color and perfect for display. There you go. Color's a little washed out, but it's definitely got a lot of color and it pops and it's great. I wonder if you, Jay, did you design this? Uh... He probably did. I know he dabbles in old graphic design, so that is awesome. If he did that, that's South Sandy, man. Not making me upset that you can't see the colors in that. Got a new light system for Christmas, and I'm messing around with it. And the last item is the Blair Witch trading card. Magnet. May the Witch of the Black Hills of Burksville haunt forever haunt you so that is awesome great great stuff great stuff what did y'all think of Fright Crate for December 2016 so look at that that is great that is very unique I've seen some type of thing like this before on Etsy and stuff like that. I definitely got to find a way to display this. I'm not going to use it. It's too nice. Then every now and then I'll just flip it around on the wall. <laughs> so that is cool. Once again, everybody, check out Fright Crate. The link is in the description below. Check it out. Or I might use this in one of the suggested usage on the spoiler sheet you know like this yeah yeah it'll be cool to see like kathy bates on one of these right because then she have a knife in like misery in one part that would be cool 
it did say volume one on there, did it not? Yep, exclusive night party, volume one. So maybe there's more to come in the future for these. But already, January. Go check out Fright Crate for January. Lost Boys, Muppet Puppet Master, Hostile Torture, Horror, and Trick or Treat. Great, great, great characters. Thanks for visiting me on your Kiki Neighbor. Jay, over there, right great. I don't have a beer in my hand, but I'd hold it up for you. <laughs> what y'all think of the items? Like, comment, subscribe. Come back and see me again. Bye.